Let's go. You know it, baby. Nigga. So Dream House, what is Dream House about? Dream House is basically about a family preparing to leave their farmhouse in Doleni. The property is being sold to a bunch of property developers. And Patricia is one of the main characters and is being helped by Beauty, which is a domestic worker, to pack their belongings away so that they can move to Durban. Richard is Patricia's husband and he suffers from an advanced state of dementia. Therefore, he has very little awareness or understanding of what's going on around him and stuff. So, the day before they leave for Durban to go to the new house, Patricia goes on and visits her lover, John Ford. Her and John Ford have had affairs before and stuff, and they like each other, but they can't really be seen with each other because it's kind of a taboo because they're both married. So, John Ford on that day gives Patricia a letter and makes her promise that she won't open that letter until they arrive at their new house in Durban. So cool. Anyway, Patricia comes home, and that evening she's given an unexpected visit by Luke Smart. So, Luke Smart. Luke Smart is this young boy who used to live on the farm and was basically raised by Patricia. And he lived for about two decades. And Patricia had no idea why he left, and she was very devastated and confused because she saw him as a prodigal son, as a surrogate son. So now Luke Smart's been carrying the secret with him and the secret is the reason for his departure from the farmhouse. So for years now it's been fueling his bitterness. So that evening Luke Smart enters the house to go confront uh, Patricia about the secret that he has. And meanwhile Richard and Becky, which is the farm driver, the family driver, he they go on, Beauty and Becky go on to go try find uh, Richard as he's wandering around so anyway Luke Smart's truth is a secret behind a girl named Grace so now Grace is this young lady that Luke Smart was madly in love with he was prepared to marry her and everything and on this particular day on her passing away she had a very violent death so what happened was Grace was entangled with the rod filer struggling for her life while Patricia tried to pull the dog off and well she managed to pull it off and lock it up and then while P Grace was on the floor struggling for life Luke Smart came to the rescue and Patricia insisted that Luke Smart take her to the bucky and take her to the hospital using the bucky but the bucky was nowhere to be seen so they had to go to plan B and use the Mercedes Benz but with that, Grace was covered, wrapped with a, with a horse blanket and then loaded onto the back of the Mercedes Benz. But Patricia really didn't want to get blood on, on her seats, which made Luke Smart very, very angry in the future. And you'll see as the story develops. So they rushed in straight to the hospital. And as they get there, unfortunately, Grace has died. And in her last breath, she tells Luke Smart, she whispers in his ears she says look Richard is the cause of my death so now Luke Smart believes that Richard raped Grace and set the dogs on her and when she tried to escape when she tried to escape the dogs lashed on her and just killed her so not long after this incident Luke Smart was heartbroken and so he decided to flee the farm and he left two decades later he's back so now back to the present day, Beauty, who is Grace's sister, confirms that Luke Smart's story is in fact true. And on his way out of the farm, Luke Smart reveals that he's actually working for the developers and overseeing the developing houses on the farm. And as Luke Smart's leaving the house as well, he con he has an awkward encounter with Richard. So, anyways, Luke Smart leaves. And Patricia confronts Richard about Grace's murder and they go on and on arguing and arguing so the next morning comes along and the occupants are prepared to leave which is Patricia Becky and Beauty they're preparing to leave to Durban to the new house and on that morning Patricia receives news 
that John Ford has unfortunately committed suicide. So now Patricia asks Beauty about the whole incident with Grace and Richard and she asks her why she's never told her about Richard and Grace. So Beauty reveals, she says, Luke Smart's truth is the truth, but it's in fact not the whole truth. There's another side to it. So Patricia says, go on. So it's revealed that Grace never actually wanted to marry Luke Smart. And Grace was in fact sleeping with Richard for money. And then she fell pregnant the one time and she wanted to keep the baby but Richard did not want to keep the baby so what Richard did was set the dogs on Grace so that there's no baby to worry about anymore and that's that about sums up Dreamhouse she wanna fuck with me but I don't got the time